morning folks and welcome to a step back in time this month we're taking our stories and we're sharing from the book life in our county with hank hayseed and it is stories that were adapted from columns in the record herald prior to june of 1952 and the book was edited by edward v katerba today we're going to be reading from the history and legend section of the book and the title of the story is Saga of Peter Geyser. And the subtitle is Inventor of the World's First Threshing Machine in 1848. High up on the windswept slopes of Green Hill Cemetery lie the remains of one whose influence upon Waynesboro will never die. The terrific impact of the influences of Peter Geyser, inventor of the world's first threshing machine in 1848 and founder of Waynesboro's first industry in 1852 can never be fully realized but by this present generation. The memories of this great man have been all but washed out by the sands of time. Today we pay tribute to Peter Geyser, the relatively unheralded founder of the true Waynesboro. A century and a half ago, two boys, last name Geyser, of German and French descent, came to this country. One brother remained a bachelor, the other, John, married a handsome girl whose surname was Singer. She was a descendant of the founder of the Singer Sewing Machine Company. John and Mary Geyser settled on a farm just over the first hill west of Smithsburg. This homestead has since been known as the Old Geyser Farm. Peter Geyser was the seventh of John and Mary Geyser's family of 13 children. He was born March 5th, 1826. In those days, it was customary for a successful farmer to provide a farm for each of his sons when they became of age. The chores of farming for the sons, Daniel, Peter, Martin, David, and Samuel were a difficult job, much different from farming today. The preparing of the soil was done by oxen, mules, and horses. There was practically no machinery in those days. After the ground was prepared with crude implements, the grain was sowed by hand. This was called broadcasting. When the grain was ripe and ready for harvesting, it was cut by hand, raked by hand, and tied in bundles by handmade straw binders. The bundles were gathered and shocked and left to cure partially before hauling them into the barn for the final curing before threshing. After the final curing in the barn mouths, the grain was spread out on the barn floor. There it was tramped out by horses and placed out by hand, then gathered up and put through what was called a windmill. Turned by hand, the windmill thus separated the chaff from the grain. This was indeed hard work for the farm boys during the winter days when there was no outside work that could be done. But as the old saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. And Peter Geyser, one of the boys, began visualizing new things. Young Peter did have a mechanical mind and fancy for woodworking. He took up a course in cabinet making in Hagerstown. He astounded everyone around him with his talent. Then in 1848, in the hayloft of his father's barn, he conceived the threshing machine. He was only 22 years old. In this barn, he built his first 12 machines. Widespread success came quickly, but Peter kept putting back all the money he got from his inventions and improvements. After some months, Peter and Daniel decided to go into a partnership, sharing the profits on a 50-50 basis. Peter was to manage the shop and production, and Daniel the office and sales department. In 1852, after weeks of sight-seeking, the brothers decided on Waynesboro for their factory. At that time, Waynesboro was merely an overnight stopping point for horse and mule team freight haulers on the main turnpike between Baltimore and Pittsburgh. And that is our story today, the saga of Peter Geyser. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Join us again next week when we take out another section or another story from the book, Life in Our County with Hank Hasey. Thank you for joining us today. Keep on searching out the history of Waynesboro. If you find something interesting, let us know. Until we see you next time, keep searching.